In the next few episodes, we are going to be doing searching and filtering data for October CMS. And to do that, we would need some data because as of right now on our site, we only have three movies and a few actors. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can seed your database with fake data so that we have something to search and filter. This is called seeding the database. So this is what we are going to be doing in this episode. Before we start seeding our database, uh, there is just a quick disclaimer for this. So you only should seed your database once you create your tables, of course, and uh, before any new content, any real content is entered into the database. Because as you will see, whenever we uh, refresh our plugin, the October will automatically delete all the data from your database and then populate it with the seed data. So you should only be doing that if you don't have anything of importance or of value in your database, in your plugin. Okay. So first of all, I'm just going to go to watch, learn movies. We are going to add, let's say a hundred movies to our database. Then you would go to updates and in the updates, we will create a file called seed PHP. Okay. So now we have that file and in our version dot YML, we are going to uh, be good developers and add our version and also our PHP file. Okay, so you just add seed movies. So this is the description and this is the file that is going to be seeding uh, data to our movies. Okay, we save this. Next thing we need to do, we need to create our seed file. So in this seed file, we are going to go through our loop and create, let's say a hundred movies. And we are also going to be using a plugin uh, for Laravel and October. Actually, it's a PHP component uh, called Faker that will fake our data for us. So we are going to be uh, using that. So to use Faker, we have to install it. Uh, luckily, there already is a plugin called Faker. Uh, it does something else. Actually, it fakes uh, the data that you input uh, statically into your pages, but it can you also be used for this, which actually didn't uh, isn't explained in the documentation for Faker. So we are going to go to plugins, uh, updates and uh, go to install plugins. And then we are going to search for Faker. And now we have Faker installed. Okay, so now that we have everything, we can write our seed file. So first of all, we have to define our namespace. This is of course, watch, learn movies. And then we set updates. Next, uh, we have to use our model for the movies, of course, because we are going to be adding some data to the movies. Uh, then we have to uh, use October's seeder function, actually class. And then we will use the faker. So the faker will help us fake the data that we need. It's a great component. I will show you their GitHub page to see all the available options for it. Uh, next thing we need to do, we need to extend the seed all tables uh, <coughs> class. Okay, so when we refresh our plugin, we are going to use this function or method called run. 
And when we run that method, uh, we are going to be creating our movies in it. So first of all, we are going to be, be creating just one movie just to show you how that works. And then we are going to be creating 100 more movies. Uh, first of all, I'm calling this faker right here. So this is the instance of a faker factory, uh, which we are going to be using uh, to fake our data. If we go actually here, uh, you can see the documentation for it right here. So this, this is it. So faker, faker factory create, and then you can fake some data. Uh, we are going to create movie. So you just do movie create. And pass it an array of uh, your fields. So if we go to builder, select the movies plugin, ah, we'll get an error uh, because uh, we uh, didn't write the seed uh, just yet or something else unable to pass line 33 let me just see line 33 oh i forget uh, forgot this actually let's try it again okay so if we go to movies we can see that the movie has id name description year and slug so we need to define those fields in this movie create uh, method. So I'm just going to say name. So this is going to be the name of our movie. And uh, we can use something like faker sentence. So what this means is create some sentence with maximum of three words and change those words up. Uh, and you can see that in the faker documentation. So as you can see, they, uh, they have some sort of formatter. So you can have random digits, uh, random digit, not null so, and so on. You have a word, you have words, sentences, which we are using right now, uh, paragraphs, uh, text and so on. You can also uh, create fake uh, titles, uh, may, uh, fa uh, fake uh, titles, okay, names, first name, last name and so on, cities, phone numbers and so on. So this is the way the faker works. As you can see, you have a lot of options with it. Uh, you can even, uh, I don't know, create longitudes, latitudes and so on. Okay, so we are going to use this. So this is going to be a sentence of three words with variable words. Uh, next thing we need is slug. So to create the slug, we, are, we will use the function called string slug. So this uh, function comes, it's a Laravel helper actually, and we can just copy this right here and say to use dashes uh, instead of uh, spaces so that we can create our slug. Next thing we need to create is description. And we are going to be using paragraph for this one. So the same thing like for these words, except we are going to have at least three sentences in each paragraph. And also we will use a year. So uh, the year is going to be max maximally 2016 when this video is created. Uh, so that we don't get any movies that are in the future. So uh, this is going to be the maximum for the years. And that should actually be it. <clears throat> 
So we created name, slug, description and year. Of course, these, these are the field names that we have in our database. So it, there have to correspond to this right here. Okay, and I think that should actually be it. The only thing we need to do, uh, which I actually forgot but mentioned, uh, this needs to go into the run method. So, okay, so this is the run method and we are going to run this and create one movie uh, just to start us off and to create a movie actually to uh, run this seeder what you need to do is you need to go to your console uh, you need to go to your uh, directory where your website is and do a php artisan command so plugin refresh we are going to refresh our plugin and you give it a namespace which is watch learn learn and then the uh, plugin that you want to refresh is called movies okay we didn't do something right actually i didn't do something right so parse error on line nine so i forgot to put this faker instance into the public function run okay so i think this should actually be it right now okay as you can see everything is initialized created tables and now we see the, the movies and if we go right here refresh the page so we go to dashboard movies we can see one movie right here if i click on it you can see the name of the movie you can see the uh, description for the movie year uh, and slug as you can see the slug is different from the name so we will have to adjust that when we create more movies which we are going to be doing right now so creating more movies is actually just as simple as creating a for loop so we are going to create a for loop right here And since we had that problem with the slug, because uh, even in a for loop, uh, the faker will always create a different sentence for the name of the movie. So the name and slug will never be the same. So to do, uh, to correct that issue, we are going to create a variable called name, paste uh, this as the variable value, And then we are just going to call the name right here. And for the slug, we are going to do the same thing. We're just going to call name right here. And that should actually be it. Let's save this. We go to our console and run PHP Artisan plugin refresh again. Of course, we have an error. Uh, what is it now on line 23? I forgot the curly brace right here so opening curly brace for this for loop let's just save this and try it again okay and now it works if we go to movies we will see 100 movies right here so if you click on one of them they are all going to have a description, year, slug. As you can see, slug right now is uh, the same as the name of the movie or the movie title. Also, if we go to our page, go to movies, you can see that we actually have a hundred pages because we have to go to our CMS where we list the movies. So we list the movies right here. And this component is saying that we have only one movie per page. So I'm going to put that to be 20. Save it. Refresh this page. And now we have 20 movies on this page. And we can go to the page number two and view more movies. 
page number three, view more movies, and so on. Okay, so you can see how the seed works. You can use it with any plugin you want, and you can uh, make some fake data for you to work with, like we are going to be doing in the next few episodes when we will be doing search, filtering, and so on. Okay, so this has been it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content I put out, you can maybe, I don't know, subscribe to my channel. You can also ask me questions on Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, uh, my website and YouTube. And uh, remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. Uh, the link will be in the description below, so you can download that code right there. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.